Listen, you guys. That's a little sloppy. Let's go over here. You are not going to believe what has happened. I put a whole thing out there. We have the 1010 portal coming up October 10th. This is a time of endings, new beginnings. It's very imperative in this year. And I am actually doing a live all about that, explaining what it is, what we need to do to take advantage of this time and of this energy to let in blessings and miracles. But, uh, and that's on 1010, October 10th. Get the tickets down below, okay? So there's that. <laughs> oh, and we're gonna meditate together too so that we have a collective group, a collective energy to amplify it. Cool? Tickets available down below, don't miss it. So the other thing I started thinking, I'm like, well, people might wanna have their personal reading right now. So I put it out on social media and I said, listen, if you get it, you know, you're requesting within the next couple of hours, I might be able to get this to you by October 10th. Y'all flood it in, it's okay, I love it. Actually, if you guys like this, I kind of liked that people were, one, showing interest, it's like a good energy that was coming in, but um, I think I might like working like this, where it's like, okay, everybody who wants a reading just sort of comes in, I work on it, I make sure you have you know, what you need, hopefully in a short period of time, uh, or whatever. So just let me know if that's how you like things. And if you're still looking for a personal reading, like, oh my gosh, everybody got in ahead of me, you can still get in line for a reading. It depends on how many people get in ahead of you. Um, I, don't, I lost count of how many I have at the moment that have to be in there Monday. Um, but if you get in there now, worst thing that's going to happen, you get it like Tuesday or Wednesday, you can still use the energy 100% you can use that energy. So go to angelsouls444.com. There's that. And also Gumroad. Um, don't forget, I, I need to put some more courses up there, but there are a ton of courses over there. Uh, all the links are in the description box to help you get prepared for this time. So this is a complete reset moment. Don't miss it. So make sure you share this video, all the good things. I'm also gonna be making another video about how curiosity can make us, oops, you know, it's, everything's messy over here. <laughs> How curiosity can end up making us manifest something we do not want. Okay. Oh, there's the first card. Sensitivity. So clearly the thing that I forgot to mention with the 1010 portal is that it is especially important for people who consider themselves light workers, star seeds, earth angels, sensitive folk. <laughs> what this says, okay? So this is your chance, especially if you're very affected by the world around you that, you know, can be based in cruelty and selfishness and all kinds of other things going on in the world. So this is saying, take it easy. And also I wanna say, if you guys have been sleeping a lot and there's no physical thing going on for you, no mental thing going on, I've been going through that too. This is all a part of that. You're, you're winding down an old way to amp up something new, okay? So this is Haniel, she's about the phases of the moon, so pay attention to that. Uh, you are extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now. Honor yourself and your feelings. So you could be tired, you could be feeling extra sensitive, you could be feeling lost, confused, right? Because it's change. And it's gonna be change in your physical world or in the physical world. Now, conversely, people who are on the evil side of things, you know, this is the time where they're gonna be having things falling apart for them, playing the victim, and they're going to be banking on your need to be a good person. And they think, well, I can just do whatever I want. You'll just always be there for me. This is tough for a lot of people to hear. But what you need to do for the collective, I'm hearing, is to not, how do I want to put this? Like, be, be discerning with this, obviously. But, like, don't necessarily jump in and save the narcissist when they've, you know, they've made their bed, let them lie in it. Or if someone just assumes you'll always be there for them and they can treat you any old way that you want. I've used the example I've heard from many people in my life. I know you'll just understand and you'll forgive me very easily. So yeah, I can, I feel like I can say whatever I want to you. 
And they were actually saying this like it was some sort of compliment. This is a very tricky time where we're being asked to change how we see things. When we just dive in and go along with the person we know is the way they are because they're hurt. And we have this um, a sense of duty to jump in and save them, right? Or to at least help them, help them nurture their light. That is what we came to this planet to do. But things have changed. Things have changed. So when someone has, like I said, made their bed, let them lie in it, uh, and they come back to you and they say, oh, feel bad for me. My life fell apart. Oh, fix everything for me. Or people who think they're above having to handle their own stuff. Here, I can't figure this out. Can you just do it for me? A lot of you have that dynamic in your relationships. A lot of you have that dynamic in your family. Do you have a 17-year-old kid who's perfectly capable of doing their own laundry, but they won't because they just can't figure it out. It's just too hard. You know, like, come on. (laughs) So what we're getting at here is don't diminish your light trying to help people who have been on the same journey you have. They just chose to take the dark route. You tried to warn them. We've been trying to warn them for decades and they wouldn't listen. They may have even made fun of you. Look at this. <gasps> Beloved one, it's Archangel Shamuel. Shamuel is all about living our potential, self-love, and loving in an appropriate way. So this might be a little bit of tough love. This might be a little bit, and I have a, I've been doing that too, where people, my thing, everybody in my life, or a lot of people, I shouldn't say everybody, a lot of people in my life treat me like I'm their secretary. Yeah, but you're just so good at handling this stuff. But it's not my stuff. And I wasn't good at handling it. I learned to handle it because I had to handle my own stuff. What are you doing? Go learn it, you lazy. (laughs) (laughs) So it says, I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. Now, this might be, we have tons of soulmates. So this whole idea that you have this one special love and that's it, you can have a divine counterpart, but even then, like that's no guarantee that they're gonna stick around. What this card is talking about is, um, you know, people reflecting back to you. So you're gonna, October 10th, 2022, this is actually timeless. You know, you can still get a message out of this. It doesn't necessarily, you know, pertain just to that day. Um, But if you are catching this before that day or around that day, watch what happens for you. If you have a bad day, you need to stop and ask yourself, why? Am I stuck in a mindset? Was I trying to save somebody who doesn't deserve it? Was, you know, because again, the identity part of it. I identify as somebody who's just super nice, good vibes only. Oh, Listen, I've said it before, the good vibes only is probably the most overused phrase I have heard that has been adopted by cluster B personality disorder people. I'm not an expert, but I've, I've dealt with a whole lifetime of um, negative effects from that kind of behavior. So I think I don't need a degree, honey. I, I lived it my whole life. I'm old, so it's been a long time, okay? <laughs> but they've adopted that. And what I, I have to say this, I love watching, I've been watching TikTok and, and I'm on TikTok now, by the way, guys. So go check that out. I'm trying to do more shorts on YouTube. For some reason, when I do a short on YouTube, there's a staticky sound with the microphone. Doesn't matter what microphone I use. It doesn't happen on other platforms. I don't know what's going on. So just, I'm sorry, <laughs> just get the message. Try to not be nitpicky about it, okay? I understand it's not pleasant, but as soon as I can figure it out, I will fix it, okay? Or if you know how to fix it, let me know in the comments. Only if you know how to fix it. I just said, I know there's a staticky sound, so don't comment and say, hey, it's, I can't hear you. I just said that. <laughs> Okay, thank you, thank you. So what the heck were we talking about? So, um, (laughs) sorry. So I've been watching TikTok and there's somebody in there who was entitled, um, 
didn't respect a place and came out and said, oh, I'm so sorry, but you guys have been so rough on me. Um, even though you don't love me, I'm going to love you. Positive vibe. You know, and it was just, I don't know what that person's deal is. Okay. I don't, I don't want to sit here and diagnose. I'm not trying to do that whatsoever, but it was just interesting to watch the adaptation of something that has become trendy. Right. So this idea of I live free, but I don't feel like I have to respect anybody. Um, I apologize, but it doesn't have to be genuine. This is something else that we need. You know, this kind of plays into this beloved card. So a soul connection where someone comes in and maybe around this time you're learning about the non-apology. I'm sorry, but dot, dot, dot. I'm sorry, but really I'm the victim. I'm sorry you feel that way. That's not an apology. That's saying that's your problem, not mine. Okay? So clean it up. Clean it up. Part of cleaning it up, especially if you are a sensitive person who has a hard time setting boundaries. If you've watched my channel for any amount of time, you've watched my personal evolution. Huge background in abuse worked on coming through. Yes, I would get defensive with people. And it was usually people who were cluster B types who were trying to drag me down. And I wasn't complete. And I'm still working on my healing. But, you know, I would have this like, I'm so sick of it. No, I'm gonna block you. <laughs> get out of here. Like, leave me alone. Um, and again, you know, this is our time to look at it. If you're still in that place where you're wounded, looking at that, looking at where you might snap. Okay. But also if you are one of those sensitive people who's playing an enabler, thinking that that makes you a good person, you better wake up. Let me say that again. You better wake up because what you're doing when you are defending bad behavior, when you're defending the narcissist or you're defending whatever. Okay. And part of defending them is you see them acting poorly and yet you still engage with, with them. You see them treating people poorly and yet you still go and you're hanging out with them. That puts you in the same category as them. That puts you in their energy or you wouldn't be a frequency match for that. Now, codependence will do that. I'm not a psychologist. Check with an expert. I have to say that. But, you know, we, this is the time to knock it off. To knock it off. This whole thing of, I don't set boundaries because I'm a good person. I don't, I just let it go because I'm a good person. That's pretentious. It's a lie. And it's enabling. If you forget, let me know. I'll be here to remind you. Those days are over. It's okay to say, Stop talking to me like that. It's okay to say, if you're not going to respect me, I don't mind having intelligent discourse here, but if you're discourse here, but if you're going to talk down to me, if you're going to talk to me like I'm a woman who needs to be put in her place, if you're going to try to silence me, say these are all the you're seeing it. You're seeing it worldwide. And isn't that interesting? Things have been messed up this whole stinking time, <laughs> this whole time beyond our lifetimes. And only just now people are waking up and going, Hey, this is terrible. We shouldn't do this anymore. Hey, right. <laughs> and now you see, and it's fighting against the evil. It's fighting against the evil. So when you try to hold hands with evil, you are the evil's bride and there's, there's no getting around that. Okay, so you're going to make a choice. It's that time. Counselor, Archangel Osriel. So Osriel is all about transformation. Now hang with me as I read this. You are a natural counselor and many people benefit from your guidance and reassurance. This is a general reading. This is not going to pertain to anybody, just anybody out there. This, you can be your own counselor to an extent, but this is also talking about if you do discover, I, you know, I have this pattern of feeling like I can't say no. I have this pattern of maybe sticking up for the people who are being terrible to others and draining their energy. 
do you feel trapped? Right. And if you feel trapped in that, and listen, we, we can't have this discussion unless we really break it down. I have been through so many relationships where I've been in, whether it's a friendship, a romantic partnership, just people I know who are narcissists and it is dangerous sometimes to set a boundary. They will get angry and maybe even, you know, so I understand that. I understand it completely. Um, or they can just get excessively verbally, mentally, emotionally. Um, but, but there's a message here that we can't tolerate this anymore. So if you're somebody who makes excuses, it's, you know, this always comes through me as a message, but it's really, hello. If we're talking about things that we need to let go of, this is it. Okay. Um, figure it out. Of course, if you're in a situation like that and it is, you know, make sure you get proper support, whatever that looks like in your community. Okay. But definitely that counselor is like, you might want to talk to somebody about why, or maybe it's a spiritual counselor. You know, I do sort of a spiritual counseling kind of thing or spiritual coaching, however you want to see that, but it's not a replacement for regular therapy. Just bear that in mind. Okay. So let's get into the card here. Chakra clearing, Archangel Metatron. So there's a huge call to clean it up, clean it up light workers. Okay. Clean it up star seeds. <laughs> Remember who you are. It's time to get back into that Ascension light. And this is obviously chakra clearing. So getting all that online. Uh, call upon me to clear and open your chakras using sacred geometric shapes. Let's talk about the Merkaba or Metatron's cube. Okay. So, um, do a meditation with that. Do a meditation, invite Archangel Metatron in and do a chakra clearing, you know, ignite your Merkaba, your light body, get that going. If you don't know what any of that is, check out Gumroad. If you purchase one of my lives, uh, you get access to the replay. So go on back and look at those again. Okay. There's lots of information out there. So let's just pull a card from this deck and let's see what's going on. So what I've been experimenting with while I'm shuffling here, um, doing the YouTube shorts. So I can't monetize those. This is my, this is how I make a living this in personal readings. Uh, so it gets a little tricky, but I guess YouTube's going to start letting us monetize those next year. So I just thought I would test it with this audience and see if you guys like that. Um, you know, I'll still be doing the dailies and, and sort of releasing it every week with extra content here and there. As I mentioned before, I'm already on TikTok, So get on over there, follow me. As soon as you follow me, more people get to see the messages. <laughs> okay. So that's great. And also I've been doing more reels on Instagram. So you know, wherever you are, wherever you land, let me know. Let me know if that works for you. Okay. Or at least put your vote in. <laughs> All right. Okay. Teresa. Yeah. So this has to do with self care and that goes along with Shamuel. Shamuel is all about self love, self care. I was mentioning that you, I think I was mentioning, I've done so many different videos. You maybe I didn't mention it here. You might've been feeling tired, sleepy. Um, like you need to step back and take a break. Here you go. It's because of this portal that's happening. So we're closing out. It's not just a soul contract chapter. It's that to some extent, but there's like a whole collective chapter that needs to close. That's where the light workers come in. If you're doing that for yourself, you're also putting that good energy out into collective. This will start to get people more aware. Okay. And perking up and going that I had a weird day or, um, getting their attention. Yes. So it's us taking our energy and putting it in, not in the sense of, uh, doing it for them, but at least, I don't know, trying to get them aware. Okay. So it says time out. You've been busy taking care of everyone else's needs and now it's time to stop and take care of yourself. So this is a very important message for all of you, especially around this time. It goes right into though this other message. Okay. Take care of yourself. But look at who your friends are. Now, we don't want to sit here and judge people and be like, well, they didn't grow with me, therefore, blah, blah, blah. But if you have, let's say you're in a group of friends and one friend is not treating you very nicely and the other friends keep hanging out with that person, they're not your friends. Back up. You're a gift. You are beautiful. 
you carry a very precious energy. And if people can't see that and appreciate it, don't let them in. Do not let them in. You're not a bad person for taking care of yourself. Okay. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. <laughs>